The botanical garden is fairly small and it is possible to walk around the garden in around an hour and a half. Be sure to follow the signs to the medicinal mound where you can learn about indigenous healing herbs found in South Africa. One of the first signs you will see is for Artemisia afra. Artemisia afra is also known as African wormwood. The Afrikaans name is Volda Als. Artemisia is an easy to grow plant with lovely silvery feathery shaped leaves. It is named after the goddess Artemis who is a patroness of healing. The leaves of Artemisia have been used by many cultures for treating coughs, colds, fevers, loss of appetite, colic, headaches, worms and malaria. Follow the spiral path upward to see more healing plants. Pig's ear is another plant you will come across. It is known as Farkwere in Afrikaans. Pig's ear is a succulent with groups of thick round flat leaves with red edges. The plant is well known for medicinal uses. It is believed to remove corns and warts when applied to the feet. Wild rosemary is another popular plant in the garden. It is also known as the Cape Snowbush. In Afrikaans its name is Wilde Roosmarin or Kapok Bos. Wild rosemary has fragrant rosemary-like leaves and white flowers. The leaves are similar to rosemary and can be safely added to stews for additional flavor. Wild rosemary is believed to be a remedy for coughs and colds as well as flatulence and colic. It probably should be avoided during pregnancy. False Buchu is known in Afrikaans as Basta Buhu. False Buchu has fragrant green leaves and small purple flowers. It is an attractive shrub. Pollinators like the flowers. The leaves of False Buchu are believed to have therapeutic qualities to assist in curing renal and chest complaints. Salvia repens. This is a form of sage known as creeping sage. The Afrikaans name is crepe sali. Creeping sage flowers in summer. Its leaves have been used to treat stomach ailments. It probably should be avoided during pregnancy. Menta longifolia is well known throughout the world. It is also known as wild mint or wild spearmint. Wild mint is an insect repellent, although bees and butterflies like its flowers. The plant is found in many places and the leaves are used to brew tisanes. The leaves are believed to have antioxidant and antibacterial qualities. They have been used to treat coughs, colds, stomach aches, asthma, flatulence, indigestion and headaches.
Tobachia violacea is wild garlic. In Afrikaans, its name is Wilde Knuffel. Kosa is Utswelane. Wild garlic is a tall, thin plant with long, thin leaves and clusters of small, violet-colored flowers. It has a pungent odor and acts as an insect repellent. The leaves of wild garlic have a garlic-like flavor and can be used in soups, salads, and stews. Wild garlic is believed to strengthen the immune system. It was a pleasant surprise to come across the bust of William John Birchall, who was a famous English naturalist, explorer, author and artist. He arrived in the Cape in 1810. He collected thousands of natural specimens of plants and birds. He recorded his journey in travels in the interior of southern Africa. Birchall's zebra and Birchall's kukul are named after him. <laughs> 